Hey, what's up everyone? I've been having a lot of very vivid dreams and visions lately. And I wanted to document a little bit of it in this video. I don't know how much storage is left in this phone, so it's it might it might not record a lot, I don't know. But last night into early this morning, I had so many dreams and very vivid visions. One of which happened to be about, it was this, it was, it was, it was like a message from this angel. And the angel was speaking to me saying that, and they said, there was something about three days, there was something about, it's coming soon, and I, I'm, I, I mean, I don't know, I don't, I can't, I don't want to be a false prophet. I am not going to be a false prophet, I don't want to do that. But I didn't know what what it was talking about. You know how three days can mean who knows how long, biblically. I mean, it's like different seers, they saw the, the coming of, you know, the birth of Jesus Christ. They saw it hundreds of years in advance and talked about it saying that a Savior was coming. A Savior is coming, and it was hundreds of years in advance. I'm drinking this uh, Lipton... Diet, Georgia. Uh, it's supposed to be green tea, but it's Diet Georgia peach tea. So that's what you hear in the background. I'm super thirsty. But <clears throat> these angels came to me in a dream. This angel did. And this vision. And was talking to me about different things and showed me things coming soon. And they kept saying, it's coming soon, it's coming soon. And I said, what, what is coming soon? What is coming soon? I was shown a vision of me. And I was telling them, no, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. I am not taking this. And the person said, do you want to eat? Do you want to drink? Do you want to live? Do you want to, do you want to go to the store again? They said, do you want to particip participate in society again? Then you're taking this. Everyone was having to go to, I don't know if it was like the courthouse or this place, it was, it was some kind of a building. Everyone had to go there in their, in their jurisdictions. Everyone had to go there and take this thing. And this is what it was like. Let's see if I can draw it. Let's see if I can do this. But upon my right hand, they, they required me to take this. So they, they lasered the circle, a circle, in between your, where your thumb and index finger is. But it's right there in the middle, right there in the area where, to the left of the bone, that connects to your index or pointing finger. In that spot that's, that doesn't have a bone. Like here's your hand, there's the thumb. There's the hand itself. Well, then right there is your index or pointing finger. Well, it was in between. The, the circle had to be put right there. And then in the middle of it, right in the middle of this circle, was a small, round... I, it's, I can't do it properly, but it was like a round... It was a, it was a round chip. It was a circle. But, you know how you go in Chuck E. Cheese and the ultraviolet light? Chuck E. Cheese's ultraviolet light will show your... Show the... The stamp. Well, this never goes away. This is on your right hand. And when I was done receiving it, they required it. When I was done receiving it... They required me... to download this app or something, it was in my phone. And then lay my phone just as you would for the mobile payments, the quick checkouts in the store, what they call contactless payment. Just as you lay your phone down for that, they required me to lay my phone down at the hand so it could read it and put my vitals from blood pressure to oxygen levels to all of your vital signs 
and it said, and it was telling, and it even showed um, the you know what status. The <clears throat> I don't want to say the words. The uh, um, rhymes with packs. Your packs status available. It said information of everyone you've ever had. Everyone you've ever had, and even from birth, all of your records, everything, were then shown up. Then they told me to choose an emoji to represent me. And all the coding that was in there, there was a bunch of line of code. And in that code of that chip, with a circle around it now, and you could feel it for a few days, you could still feel that. It was a small, it was a lump about maybe an inch wide in the middle of the index and thumb index finger and thumb and I could feel it and days later it was gone within like three days I guess it was the it was gone and they said you won't feel it anymore then later it had moved and I didn't see it anymore and then the phone would no longer read it and that was really weird but they told me to choose an emoji and they were all this horned goat and they said if you want to make it look friendlier you can this AI emoji they said if you want to make it look friendlier you can choose a friendlier one like a happy friendly Baphomet emoji and it seemed to be all because of this royal transition too Somehow, maybe it relates to this royal royal transition that's happening. This transition of power. I don't know. But I know it was it was it was put on me and put inside me and then they told me I couldn't live if I didn't have it. And this was shown to me and then this angel left and then said, "Do not fear." They said, "Don't fear." They said, it, it's coming soon. He's coming soon. It's coming soon. They said, time is short. The time is near. And I thought to myself, well, they've said that for thousands, thousands of years. And they've been saying it for decades more. And there was something to do with the 70-year reign of the queen being significant. I thought about last night, 70 years she ruled. And 70 is a generation, biblically. I think, I believe so. But then, this angel said, it is, it is time, and time is near. The time is near. Do not fear. I was told not to fear after that dream. But I don't want to take that thing. And they say none of us will willingly take it without knowing what it is. They claim we'll have to. At that time, there was, in the in the dream or vision, there was some sort of ruler. And that's all I can remember. But it was very vivid. And before I went to sleep, I was hearing a lot of spirit activity. And the cat could hear and see it too. Cause she would jump up and look and watch whatever it was and then lay back down and act very protective of me. She's trying to stay near me. My Mau Mau, Maui. <laughs> She's been trying to stay near me. She hears me talking about her. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, that's that's what's been going on. And you've been I'll be hearing these voices and I know it's there because I'll turn on the recorder and you can hear it. I mean, and, or even the cat. The cat that's a sign, you know. I'm going to listen back to my recordings, by the way. But that's a sign right there that you're not just hearing things when the cat responds. I'm hearing things on a deep level, like very connected level. I'm hearing and seeing and hearing things on a very, very high level. All right, that's documentation. Signing out.